An exciting day in Knox County. Students return to the classroom for the start of a new school year. WATE 6 on your side's Molly O'Brien was at Mill Creek Elementary as the district superintendent welcomed the kids back. Knox County school buses rolled into the parking lot and students stepped into their class ready to tackle the new school year. This is kind of our Super Bowl, right? This is the start of it all and, and the work that we do and it's great to see uh, so many people and families and smiling faces today. Staff and officials greeting the kiddos at Mill Creek Elementary. The elementary school opening up for its first year for students in pre-K through second grade. We have been planning, me and my admin team have been planning all year um, different things that need to go into the building, um, various procedural things, and as so well as picking out different fixtures, flooring, everything for the school, which has been fun. Well, students have been on summer vacation, KCS staff spent the break focusing on four things. All of our work's been centered around foundational skills, having great educators in every room. Uh, every every school, uh, really building that career empowerment and preparation and success for every student. And the nerves aren't just something students experience. A lot of it has come from the support of seasoned second grade teachers. I have several of those on my team, so they've been incredible with preparing me. Dr. Reiswick emphasizes to parents their staff is prepared to tackle the 2023-24 school year. That's kind of been our laser focus this summer through trainings and uh, just preparing buildings and, and preparing for security and safety. We had a press conference last week on that. So all those things. So the summer actually went by pretty quick as we got ready for the fall. In Knox County, Molly O'Brien, WATE 6 on your side. Thank you. Despite Monday's storm, every school is in session for the district today.